After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Xu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. We have Shu province. Cao Cao is next. I'm going to attack Yan province. Prepare yourselves for battle. Please, my lord, wait just a minute. The time is not yet ripe. Cao Cao has grown much stronger since you last faced him. We must find a way to develop our own strength to match him. Strength? I have enough strength for all of us. You just need to prepare a battle for me. Stop wasting your time offering your worthless opinions. Have you forgotten Cao Cao's mercilessness in Yan province? If you go to war with him, he will cheat, connive, and scheme so that he does not have to face you directly. That is the kind of man Cao Cao is. In order to overcome his dastardly schemes, we must form an army of our own that has enough might to nullify anything he can come up with. Chen Gong, I hear you placed Liu Bei and Xiao Pei without my permission. Until now I have done just as you have suggested, but you have the temerity to try and tell me what to do, and you go behind my back. I do not serve at your pleasure. Shu province is not your land. Do not have ideas above your station. Father, please, calm yourself. Master Lu Bu, I agree that Cao Cao is our sworn enemy, but I am also concerned about the movements of Yuan Shu. He seems to covet Shu province and is making the necessary military preparations to invade it. Hmm. Battle against one so pathetic will provide me with no satisfaction. But if he dares to stand before me, I will not disappoint him. He will regret ever setting foot in Chu province. Master Zhang Liao says, you and Shu is who he must be particularly wary of. We must keep a very sharp eye on him, I believe. Yuan Shu has launched his invasion on Shu province. It appears that he has attacked Master Liu Bei and Xiao Pei. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knows he can't beat me, so he goes after Liu Bei. I despise those who pick on the weak. He will pay for that. Master Lu Bu, it would be most unwise to wage war against Yuan Shu at the moment. You do not want us to fight him? But why not? We may have claimed Shu province, but our military firepower is no match for Cao Cao's. If our army is forced to endure a battle against Yu and Shu now, then we will be left vulnerable to an attack from Cao Cao. It will be Yan province all over again. Then what do you suggest I do? What we need to do, I believe, is mediate in the conflict between Master Liu Bei and Yuan Shu. That will ensure the safety of Shu province 
while our army will remain fully rested and ready to face Cao Cao at any time. Mediate? You mean it will be our job to stop them from fighting? Do you think we're capable of doing such a thing? With the power and prestige of Master Lubu, I do. I think it would be quicker to simply crush you and Shu. But if you insist... Come! Let us put an end to this petty squabble. I'm supposed to act as a mediator here? Can't I just crush these bugs? Pathetic. I will end this. You and Shu's forces are almost at Shoppy already. That's probably a good place to start rescuing our allies in danger. Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. as an intermediary. What an odd thing for him to volunteer to do. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Do not let Chung Fei get away. Not even a rat must pass our lines. We've got brother completely surrounded. I won't be able to get anywhere near him. Chief, I will now lend my strength to Leo Bay's forces. Come <laughs> on. 
done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. I've been defeated? Damn it! No one told me that Lu Bu and Liu Bei have joined forces. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Fine work! You're not too shabby! Forces are helping us? Just what's he up to? Power! Show the enemy no mercy! Try not to overdo it. 
I have failed in my duty to defeat Liu Bei. Lord Yun Shu, my apologies. Yes, your deeds will go down in... Legend. I am grateful for your help. I shall leave this battle in your capable hands, Master Lu Bu. Lu Bu, you've sided with the enemy, haven't you? You fool! I'll bury you together with Leo Bay. Report! Lord Jung Shun and the others in the advance guard have been wiped out! What's that? Then who's going to take down Leo Bay for me? Reporting. All the frontline Yuan Shu forces have been defeated. This ought to keep Yuan Shu in his place. I'm going to show Chu. Liu Bei, you stay in Xiao Pei. This, this is a disaster! It might be better to engage in mediation talks than to fight on any longer than this. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Look at them, with their backs turned to us, without a care in the world. Now, how can I inflict the most pain on them? Everyone to defend this area. You really want me to beat you? Let me make your wish come true. Everyone, 
to defend this area. Underestimated. I'll have you regretting such foolishness. Give it up, Yuan Chu. How can you not see that you will never beat me? Very well. As a favor to you, I will withdraw my force. Yuan Chu! Liu Bei, I have seen more than enough of your dull little argument. It is time for you both to put it behind you. If you do not, you will face me instead. Uh, very well. I will withdraw. I take it you are good with this as well, Liu Bei? I shall do as you request, Master Liu Bei and withdraw my forces. Now that it's settled, get out of here, and keep your ridiculous little disagreements out of my land. This battle has made it perfectly clear that you and Shu is no match for you, my lord. But by stepping in, and mediating in his conflict instead of simply crushing him, we have allowed him to keep face. He owes us a great debt now, and that could be very useful. Chen Gong, was this your plan all along? Is this why you asked father to mediate? This was all for the purposes of strengthening our power base here in Chu province. If we lose this land, our dreams of conquest are at an end. I only wish for you to be able to fight with no unnecessary concerns troubling you, my lord. To that end, I must think of any and every possible plan. Master Lu Bu, it seems that Liu Bei has accepted Cao Cao's invitation and left Chu province. In response, it appears that Cao Cao's army is now heading this way. Liu Bei, after I let you stay in Xiaopei, have you forgotten the debt you owe me? Chen Gong, prepare for battle at once. We will show them the folly of their actions. Master Lu Bu, Liu Bei knows this land, Shu province, like the back of his hand. And if he has joined forces with Cao Cao, then it will not be a simple task to overcome them. In order to bolster our own troop numbers, I do believe it would be prudent here to form an alliance with you and Shu. He owes us a debt. I think now might be an optimal time to have him repay it. Join forces with that pathetic coward? Are you mad? I will take on Liu Bei and Cao Cao by myself. My lord, we are here to fight on level footing. Naturally, you would claim victory. 
But as things currently stand, we would not be able to do so. All I desire is to be able to create the ultimate stage upon which you can demonstrate the true extent of your might. Ha! Whatever. Father. Cao Cao's vanguard has already reached the border of Xu province. I'm afraid that we do not have much time. We must hurry to Yuan Shu and agree to terms. Hmm. I will leave the boring negotiations to you, Chen Gong. I will concentrate on kicking aside Cao Cao's army. Father appears to be extremely irritated. He believed that if he had his own land, he could fight his battles the way he wanted to. But the reality has proven to be very different. Believe me, I have no desire to bring Master Lu Bu any discontent. All of this is simply an effort to protect this land of Shu province, which is Master Lu Bu's new home now. I know. I place no blame on your shoulders. I just... I just want my father to be able to fight his battles his own way. I hope that day will come soon. We must form an alliance with Master Yuan Shu at once. Come on, to Shoshu! <laughs> you can deal with all the boring details. I'm off to smash the enemy. Sao Sao's forces! I knew they wouldn't stay away. But I am the daughter of the Demon of War. I will face them. Sao must have noticed our movement. We need to keep an eye out for his involvement. going to do with you. It's unlike Lu Bu to team up with Wen Shu. It doesn't matter though. I'll put a stop to their little alliance. Did I let this battle slip away from me? Next time, I'll be sure it doesn't happen again. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Ah! Ah! 
Wait! I cannot allow you to form an alliance with you and Chu. Allowing them to form an alliance is an absolute nightmare for our forces, and I failed to stop it. That's why I'm here, to silence you. I have my orders. I am to prevent you from reaching Shoshu. to prove 
prove what my father has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. We outnumbered them significantly. Victory should have been ours. Splendid display of might and prowess. Victory comes by my hand. Mercy. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. I failed to carry out my lord's orders. Attack to the enemy! Forward! Yeah, 
I'm going to squash you. Lu Bu and Yuan Shu want to interfere with Lord Cao Cao's plans? I won't let them do that. I'm sorry, but I've had just about enough of you. Even if it means I have to get my hands a little dirty. Done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Yes, I have captured this territory. Splendid display of might and prowess. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. I shudder to think what will happen if Lu Bu and Yuan Shu manage to join forces. We need to make our move now before it's too late. has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. <laughs> I've been defeated. I'm sorry, Lord Cao Cao. Cao Cao's forces have been eliminated. Now you and Shu should be happy to welcome us in. That was the most boring battle I've ever seen. Come, we are heading for show two. Ah, a most splendid display of might and prowess. Not die just yet. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. <laughs> Yes! I have captured this territory! 
worry. Been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Oh. 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 Finally, we've made it as far as Shoshu. It is time for the meeting with Master Yuan Shu. You take care of it. I refuse to do anything. What's that? You want to form an alliance with me? First you mediate in my conflict, like some arbiter of peace, even though it has nothing to do with you. And now, no sooner does Cao Cao attack than you come crawling. Everything you do is for your own benefit. You really think I'd join forces with the likes of you? We have common ground, do we not, Master Yuan Shu? We both want Cao Cao removed from the picture. Then, does it not make sense to join hands, avoid unnecessary friction between us, and ensure that we each reap the benefits? What do you think? I believe this helps you quite as much as it helps us. Hmm. I suppose what you say makes sense. Very well then. I will agree to your proposal. But I do not trust you at all. As a show of good faith, I want you to let me take a hostage. You are Lu Bu's daughter, are you not? I want you to marry my son. If you agree to that, I would have no concern regarding any possible betrayal. I take it you have no objection. How dare you? Why should Ling Chi have to marry your weasel son? If you keep spouting such nonsense, I will cut you down where you stand. Wait! Father! If I agree to your plan, then you will form an alliance with us, yes? In that case, I accept your terms, but the marriage will only take place after we have defeated Cao Tsa. After all, it's not as if we trust you implicitly either. Ling Chi, what are you saying? This is all in order to defeat Cao Tsa. Besides, nothing will happen just yet. Very well. Once Cao Tsa has been defeated, you will join our family. Ling Chi. We can turn our backs on an agreement with you and Shu any time we want. The only thing that matters now is that we have no concerns holding us back in our battle against Cao Cao. Ha! You're as bad as Chen Gong. I want you to promise you will never do something like that again. Come, we will head back to the castle.
Thanks to you, Lady Lingchi, we were able to form an alliance with you and Shu. I must thank you once again for the sacrifice you made. Still, how was it that you were able to accept such a sudden and unexpected proposal of marriage? My only concern at the time was to ensure that Father would have the opportunity to fight as he wished. If I agreed to the marriage, then everything would work out. That's all I was thinking. That's why I accepted. But I never wanted to become anyone's wife. Once we've defeated Cao Cao, I intend to reject the match most vehemently. So, what you're saying is that you lied to you and Shu. They may call me all the names they like. All I want is for my father to have the opportunity to fight battles which bring him true satisfaction. And on top of that, I want to stand at the head of my father's army and lead them to victory. That is my desire, and that is what I will achieve. Cao Cao and Liu Bei's forces are already upon us. But Master Lu Bu refuses to push back, instead insisting upon luring them in further, even as far as Sha Pi. As his strategist, I cannot allow such recklessness to go unchecked. We must request aid from Yuan Shu at once, and try to execute a pincer attack. No! We have no need for reinforcements. This battle is precisely what my father has always wanted. Jin Gong! You must let him do what he wishes at this time. We must allow the demon to show the world just what he is capable of. Is that not our task as his retainers? Very well. After all, I suppose I am the only man capable of fulfilling the wishes of the demon of war and those of his daughter. Thank you. I know this is not easy, but I have faith in you. The army led by Cao Cao and Liu Bei has reached Sha Pi, and is taking up position to surround this castle. Our supplies have been nearly exhausted, meaning it will be difficult to remain in the castle for much longer. We have drawn the enemy in far enough. We will go forth! I will break a hole clean through this so-called siege! They have such numbers, yet they still do not attack the castle. That Cao Cao. I know he's up to something. Master Lubu, I believe that we must move with extreme caution here, or we will walk straight into an enemy trap. Why would I move with caution against a bunch of cowardly rats? I already told you, Chen Gong. I will fight the way I see fit. I will take orders from no one. I... I bring news! The floodgates in the area surrounding Sha Pi have been destroyed by enemy forces. With nowhere else to go, the water is flowing in this direction! No! So that's the reason they chose not to attack. They were planning to flood us out! Ah! How could I allow such a disaster to befall us? This is no time to be wallowing in self-pity, Ching Gong. If the castle is about to be flooded, we must evacuate the troops. But if they leave the castle, the enemy will be lying in wait. If they stay, they drown. There is no path left open. Stop worrying. If we break through the enemy lines, we can choose whatever path we like. But I fear that Cao Cao has some other dastardly plan in place to nullify your strength, my lord. Chen Gong, your only duty is to prepare a stage for me to fight on. With my might and your intellect, we can claim dominion over the land. Isn't that what you said? Master Lubu? 
The enemy is attacking in vast waves. If I can defeat them, I will prove that I am the greatest ever. At last, the battle I have always dreamed of is here. I will go forth. I will show the world what true might looks like. victorious over the chaos. You have done well to make it this far. However, you will never claim my head as long as I have my men around me. Now, take defensive positions. I cannot allow you to harm Master Cao Cao. You shall soon see the true extent of my might in battle. I'm here to protect Lord Cao Cao. So there's no way I'm losing to the likes of you. Thought you could win this battle on your own? Such arrogance! Oh, <laughs> 
done well, Ling Chi. Yeah. However, try not to overdo it. The enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. Go for now. Don't think you've won. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. I must fall back. A most splendid display of might and prowess. Been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! I will honor our agreement and provide you with aid. Be sure to show your gratitude in an appropriate manner. I shall be your opponent. Prepare yourself! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. to overdo it. You are not going to like the outcome of this encounter. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. If it's a fight you want, then you come to the right place. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. managed to scrape our way out of that jam. We have to hurry and meet up with the main unit. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! 
You have amazing talent. Now don't let it go to waste. defections from our ranks. We must stop them from leaving at once. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Impossible! Liu Bu's dogs shouldn't be here yet! It just won't make a difference. You will be wiped out by Zhao Zhao. Our rebellion has failed? Curse everything! All of the traitors have been dealt with. But the real battle begins now, I believe. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Ah! A most splendid display of might and prowess. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! He started a war simply to show the world how strong he is. He is a man without any honor, and I will make sure that he is punished. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Still unable to repay the debt that I owe. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. my father has taught me. A most splendid display of might and prowess. I'm afraid we're no match for him. His physical might is remarkable indeed. Beaten again? How long is it gonna take before I can get my revenge on Lu Bu? You have amazing talent. Now don't let it go to waste. Hmm. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. Insects will always be mere insects. Come, it is time for us to leave. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Truly impressive! 
you. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. Halt! The enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. by your skill. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Face me, if you think you are worthy. Yeah. I'm going to squash you. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Amazing talent. Now you don't let it go to waste. I can't believe I lost. I failed you, Lord Cao Cao. It seems my might was insufficient for the task at hand. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! A most splendid display of might and prowess. Take defensive positions! Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! Forced to retreat. Lu Bu is just as strong as everybody says. It's hard to think of my daughter as a true warrior of the three. Kingdoms. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! So see, 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 so be gone. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Now it's my turn. You are powerful, Demon. I will give you that. However, I will not stop until you are dead. You don't have any final words, Cao Cao? Death is upon me.
sights out. I fight to win. That is all I care about. Sorry or not, it's who wins in the end that matters. And this... This is the end. What? I can't believe you held back this many troops in reserve. No. This really is his actual force. How did I miss this? How could the Sao Sao I knew have planned all of this? <sighs> We're surrounded by multiple ranks. Even if we broke through at one point, they'll just encircle us again. Father. Hmm. So what? We crush anyone who dares to stand in our way. That is how. The army of the Invincible Lubu fights! Ooh, let's go! Ah!